storms, through the cries, through the wars. Hey guys, Clark and Jeans here, and check out these amazing movie props that I picked up about two years ago. And I haven't made a video about it, but I got some time and I'm about to put them away and I want to talk to you about them first. These are two comic books from the movie The Lost Boys from 1987. Remember that scene when Corey Haim walks into the comic book shop on the pier of Santa Clara and then he meets the Frog Boys for the first time? And uh, according to the Frog Brothers, these comics are a survival manual for Santa Clara. And he's like, I don't read horror comics. What I'm looking for is uh, a Batman 13, I think so. I don't know, something like that. Or Batman 4 or 3. Holy shit, I suck at uh, remembering my favorite moments from my favorite movies. But whatever, I'm here to talk about these comics. So vampires everywhere. These were reconstructed and reproduced in 2019 from uh, these two guys called, uh, by these two guys, Justin Ishmael and Rico Renzi. They're only 16 pages. I'm gonna open them up for you. They're only 16 pages because, you know, they, they were watching it closely, the movie, scene by, you know, the scene where he opens up the comic books. And I guess they, some pages are original that you see in the movie. And then some, I guess, they added in there. Oh man, this is too good. I don't want to ruin this because as soon as this COVID blows out, blows away, I'm gonna try to get Corey Feldman's signature on them because that guy lives at conventions. Check it out. Cool. They harken back to uh, the Apple comic books from the 80s. That's wicked. That's the part where he's taking a bath and, and uh, the nook is like freaking out because of Michael's a vampire. Well, yeah, so it's by Blackthorn Publishing. Similar to these suckers from the 80s, the Apple comic books. I remember reading these when I was a kid. These were like in the dime bin at flea markets. And this was the only like way I can get my hands on some cheap horror comics. So very similar, very similar. Vampires everywhere. Let's see, only a few pages. Oh, there's some. I don't know. I don't remember if that's in this scene. Yeah, it's like uh, I haven't watched the movie in a while, but I don't know if this is something that's featured in the movie. Oh, we got some black and white stuff. Some black and white monochromatic sexiness. Oh, that was the back of the comic. It's not. Pre it's uh, it's on a matte cardstock cover. It's not the ad slick that we're used to you know seeing on a regular comic book which is nice it just i gotta keep it pristine this is good i want to keep this mint and check out the vampire oh probably uh the original was probably influenced by the original the classic marvel tomb of dracula get a little closer here never apologize for glare is what i always say now let's check out destroy all vampires I think this one's got some, oh man, why is it backwards? Holy shit, I'm such a noob. C. Miller's the original artist on this, I guess. I should have done research before I pressed play. Ooh, gorgeous. If you didn't like horror comics, you'll like this one. It could save your life. It's true. It will save your life, according to Edgar Frog. Oh man, basically the same shit. Whatever. I just got them for the covers. Because, I don't know, they're just, uh, it shoots you back to a time when movies, comics, cartoons, and toys were just perfect. So, yeah, these are my books. Now I'm gonna put them in Mylar and shove them aside and fingers crossed for the next convention so I can meet Corey Feldman. All right guys, see you later.